In this tutorial, we'll show you how to use the last two and last four feature on the latest update to the Pink Eye Conductor module, available January 28th. When the conductor is activated and in auto chord sequencing mode, clicking the last two or last four buttons will populate the last two or four, respectively, auto-generated chords into the manual mode dropdowns, while simultaneously disabling the remaining pre-populated chords and changing over to manual chord sequencing mode. We'll be testing this out on a piano track with four Pink Eye Performer modules, three generating a chord tone, one generating an ostinato. We'll click Activate, wait for two chords to come through, and then click the last two button. Doing this adds the previous chord and the current chord, as you see the affected chord dropdowns light up on the screen. If you like your two chords, but want to elongate the chord progression, you can return the conductor to auto mode and let two more generate before clicking the last four button. Regardless of which chord is active when switching back to auto, the conductor will remember the last auto-generated chord, in this case B flat minor, when sequencing new ones. Similarly, when clicking last four to extend the sequence, manual mode will recall where you left off, also the second chord, B flat minor, and continue by playing the next chord, the third here, in the manual sequence. Let's explore using the last two generated chords, A flat and D flat major, to form the foundation for a new four chord sequence. I'll click back to auto mode and let two more chords generate before clicking last four again. You'll see the A flat and D flat major move from chords three and four in the sequence to chords one and two in the sequence, while the two newest chords, E flat and D flat major, fill chord dropdowns three and four. We hope you enjoy this new feature to the Pink Eye Conductor module, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for the latest feature updates, including demos, tutorials, and content showcases for our upcoming module release, The Harmonizer.